Hey everyone. So today we're uh, gonna do some crappie fishing again. Uh, my lovely wife informed me that I was wrong. My favorite place to fish is not closed yet. It actually closes after this weekend. So we're out here on Cross Creek. So we're gonna do some fishing. Uh, the water temp is 58 degrees. It's kind of cold out. I think the, the air temp today is uh, in the 50s, mid 50s. And uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on where the fish are at, but we're gonna hit a couple different spots. I'm probably gonna start off deep and then work my way shallow and kind of see what we, what we run into. Uh, whenever I do catch fish, I will show you all the spot I'm fishing, that type of area, and what it looks like on the depth finder. So stick with me, y'all. Hope for the best. All right, here's the setup again. Vigilante Abu Garcia rod, light action, five foot six, four pound test, and a slip bobber rig, and we're fishing with good old minnows. So that's how we're gonna be attacking this spot, this first spot right here. Uh, this first spot's about 16 foot of water right near a ledge. It's got like some, it's got either, it's either a brush pile down there or a patch of weeds. And we're gonna fish it. <laughs> and hopefully we do some good on it. There we go, finally got someone. I don't know what this is, I don't feel like crappie. Nope, the bluegill. Jeez. First fish, finally, you guys. A bluegill. Oop. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's been a struggle. First fish. Ugh. I got that. Don't feel like that feels more like a crappie. Yeah, it is. Oop, there we go, guys. That, I knew felt more like a crappie. Look at that one. I don't have to measure him. I know he's a keeper for sure. Whew. But we will, just for the shits and giggles. So he... Ow, ow, no. Oh, come on now. There's no reason for all this, bud. Come on. I'm here. Oh, yeah. 11 and 3 quarters. Good keeper. Cool. We shall put him in the bucket. But one good last look. First crappie finally. Thank goodness. Alright, there's a spot of his fishing right here. I was fishing right over here. So if y'all don't know or understand what we're seeing here, so what's happening, this down here is like 19 foot of water, right? Like that. Then over here, this this bright, bright area, this, that's going up over a hump. So this all this bright spot right here is a hump. And this here, it's like the, it's like the edges or edges or like rocks or stuff and it, or other type of stuff. And that's where I pulled that one crappie off of. I caught him probably right on top of here by about 14 foot of water. So that's all we got so far. I'll show you on the next spot when we catch another fish. <laughs> all right, guys. So this right here is the reason why I always keep my side scan technology going while I'm going down the uh, the lake because you never know where you're gonna find new stuff. I just found three new areas of fish in this area that could have swore passed over a whole bunch of times, but apparently I must have missed it. So it's always a good idea to have your sky, your side scanned up so whenever you go over stuff, you can. Uh, you can see it. So I don't know if I caught it on my side scan now. I don't. I, we'll have to go back over it and see what it looks like on my side scan here. Let's see. Air. Oh, and look at that. Sorry, I had to throw my. Sorry about that. I had to throw my buoy out. I'm gonna mark that real quick too. That looks like it has a bunch of fish on it. That looks promising. Let's see. So yeah, so right here, right there is that area we just passed over. And it has a little bit of just little bitty dots around it, so that means there's fish on it. That's why it's very important to always keep your side scan up. Okay, that's a nice little spot right there. Sorry, I had to throw another buoy. Alright guys, I'm really excited now. Let's get the fish in this area, hopefully. There's a whole bunch in this. It's a, I marked them a whole bunch of times. But hopefully this is the spot where we're going to catch the fish. I see a lot of good minnows. 
I see shit, I see fish around it. Let's get it, let's get it. I'm so excited. <laughs> let's do this. Look at this guys, one, two, three, four, at least four spots of fish around here. And they seem like they're holding fish. Cause I seen, it looks, like, it looks like I seen fish on the screen when we went past them, so. I'm excited now. Got him. That's a crappie, yep. <laughs> there we go y'all just like that find a good spot and you get a crappie he might be a little short but we shall find a magic ruler time magic ruler says he says wow so technically <laughs> Make sure y'all can get a good look. Technically, he reaches, but oh my gosh, he 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 touches. <sighs> he touches, but no reason to keep him. No reason to be like that. If he's barely touching. Let him go back and get bigger. Thanks, bud. Oh, that's a good one. That's a crappie. Good crappie. Oh, yeah. There we go. Come here, bud. Yeah. Yeah. I knew as soon as he hit, he was a crappie. There we go, y'all. Another one. That's not a bad one. He's probably he's probably more around what we want. Take a look and see. Oh, ruler. What does the magic ruler say today? Magic ruler says he is ten and three quarters inches. That means. You get to go in the fun bucket. <laughs> With your buddy. Give him company. Y'all can tell war stories and stuff about it. About it. Crappie. Yeah. The way that hit with the crappie all the way. Mm-hmm. Not a bad one. Oh, so I get for trying to flip him in the boat. That's what I get for trying to flip him in the boat. There we go. Oh, he got off. Dang it. Oh my gosh, I missed another one. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Ooh, that's a good one. That's a crappie. Oh yeah. Try not to boat flip this one because I don't want to lose. Oh, he's ain't that big. He's not even big. He's not even big enough to keep. He's probably about, oh, eight inches probably. Let's see. I mean, my. Oh, no, he's probably about nine. Here, Here you go. He's probably about nine, a little over nine. Bye, bud. Woo. There we go. He hit that so slow and easy. That's a crappie for sure. Good crappie too. Oh yeah. 
That's a good crappie, guys. It's a good crappie. That is definitely a good crappie. I'm struggling to get this hook out, I'm sorry. There we go. Let's see, there he is. I'm gonna say that's probably about a 12 incher. Pretty easy. I think it's easily a 12 incher. What does our ruler say today? Let's see if I'm right. Any bets, any bets? Oh, if y'all took the under, you're right. He's only at 11 and three quarters. Actually less than three quarters, he's about a little over 11 and a half. I was wrong, but still good crappie. Come in the bucket with his friends. Woo! There we go, just like that. Oh, yeah, another good crappie. I can feel it. Oh, that's a good crappie. He's got to be a better crappie. He's fighting really good. He's fighting really good. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that slab. Look at that slab right there. Woo! Now this one's definitely over 11. Possibly, possibly pushing 13. What do you think? Bet down below, over under on the 13? Over under? Anybody, anybody, anybody over under? And he is. Oh, he took the under, you're right. He was, thir he was 12 and three quarters. Really close. 12 and three quarters. Another good crappie. I think we're on to them, boys and gals. That got him there. There we go. That's, a good, that's another good crappie. I can feel it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, buddy. Come here. Come here. Come hither. There we go. There we go. Somehow that's all tangled in there. It's, it's great. Good stuff. Um, oh yeah, he's 10 inches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the ruler agrees. 11 and 3 quarters, I mean 10 and 3 quarters. Oh, that's another. Oh my goodness, it's another nice. It's another keeper crappie. Oh yeah. <laughs> Woo. Oh, come to hither. Yeah. Woo. Y'all, everyone, peoples, I think I got dialed in on them. What do you think? I think I have dialed in on them today. And that's another 10 incher. He's not over 11. No, he will not be over 11 inches. I already know he won't. Oh my goodness, you took the over. We got 11 and a quarter. Ow! Oh, oh, oh. I was trying to show them to you guys one more time, but I dropped them. Have I been right yet today on my lengths? Because I think I've been off every single time. Hopefully you are doing better than I am. There we go. Looked away for a second, looked back, and that had a crappie on. It's pretty a decent crappie too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that one guys. I decided I lost earlier. But the size of the last one, try flipping it in the boat.
Mm, struggle. Struggle? No, struggle. Oh yeah, that's a good, another good one. Good, good, good. Whew. Oh, 12 inches. 12 and a quarter. 12 and a quarter. Not a bad fish at all. Get in there with your buddies. There we go. That's another dang yellow bass, ain't it? Wow, it's got some shoulders on it, whatever it is. He's got some good shoulders on him, whatever he is. Oh, it's a crappie. Wow. He got some big old, he's got some big old shoulders on him. He hit that pretty hard and ran like a big guy. I thought for sure he was a yellow bass the way he was running. That hook popped right out. Oh, nice quality crappie. Another one. What are you? What are you? You are 11 and a quarter. No. Boop. Well, everybody, this is how we did today. We have five right here. Get about another six in the bucket. So I got a good, a good amount of uh, crappie today. A really, really good day. Awesome day. So how I caught them was, I caught them, I found one spot in about uh, 15 foot of water, and I caught them probably, probably, probably about 13, 11 to 13 foot down on live minnows. Um, I, luckily I found this spot while trying to go to another different spot. So it's a good day. Good thing I had on my side, my, uh, side scan. So I found the spot, otherwise I would have passed right over without even knowing it, and might not even had a good day, as a, good a day as I did. So. Really happy I didn't. I caught them all. Glad I, stu I uh, stuck it out and, and, and found them because there for a while it was a tough, tough day. My first two, three hours I was fishing the ledges and I didn't have no, no luck. Well, I caught that one fish. But then, other than that, I had no luck. But uh, yeah, great day. Thank you all for watching. If you do like this video, please do uh, subscribe, like it, and share it if you really want to. Let me give you all uh, one good look at my live well right now. There they all are. There's about 11, 12 crappies sitting in there right now. Good day. I'll see y'all in the next video.